What's happening guys? This is another edition of Week in Review at the We Not Training Collective. Um, kind of quiet week in terms of traffic, not a whole lot of people coming through unfortunately, but um, early days, early days. Um, I did get a haircut, got a fresh lineup. The dude asked me if he wanted to like, if I wanted him to ship with my, my facial hair. I said sure, why not? Ended up looking like a Dominican baseball player. Didn't have the heart to tell him to fix it because he worked really hard. The actual haircut was like 30 seconds and he spent like an hour on my face. So I just let it slide. It's all good though. Um, I did finish a hair part at my hypertrophy block of my current training. So going on to a more strength focused cycle. Um, going forward, he's still in the middle of the strength cycle. Um, killing it there. Uh, pretty good deadlift session on Monday, one for 3 RM. Pretty happy with what results he got. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty quiet. A few things did happen. Um, um, we got a, well, got, we've made a PR board for the gym. Um, obviously, only two people on the board so far is Lear and myself. Um, our homeboy Alex, though, came through. It was cool about that. Um, technically, he's on the board now for his weight class, so his numbers are looking good. Still a little work to be done, but he's looking great. He'll, he'll go far. Um, because even because he just came through once yesterday, um, went through the whole free consultation stuff, and he really wanted to test his, his bench. Um, usually, I don't test that early. I usually like to do a whole block, and then we test once I'm happy with the technique. But um, he had been on the school school weightlifting team where they bench, so he did have some semblance, some idea of what benching is. And um, with a few technique um, cues here and there, um, he actually tested better than he performed at a competition. Still ways to go, but um, pretty bright future. Um, what else? We also got we had some posters made for like the windows because we have a lot of windows here. Um, so put up, got a few posters to advertise what exactly we do. Um, the idea was good, didn't quite come out as we had hoped. One sign is grammatically incorrect. Just grand opening on June. Wouldn't that be wouldn't be that big of a deal if it had an actual date? But it just says on June when obviously supposed to be in June. Um, also, that poster was a design that we hadn't like approved, and they went ahead and did it anyway and put it on. Um, the other one is a design that I had uh, approved, that we designed, but for some reason in the logo they decided to put some yellowish tint in the logo and the lettering when the sign that the same company put up, the letters were white. Um, so a bit of an issue there, kind of annoyed, kind of frustrated, but um, some of these have to work through and correct. But at least we have something up, I suppose, on the bright side. Um, we also got um, rubber floors, um, heavy as fuck to pick up, we had to go to St. Cloud to pick those up, we got about four, um, so now we can like safely, if you want to say that, uh, drop the weights freely without uh, hesitation, um, without affecting the floor. Yeah, only problem is though, they have a, they, they smell like really strong rubber, so that's the only downer, but I mean. Now, once, you, once you're in the gym for a while, like you don't notice it, but yeah. it's when you leave and come in, when that rubber smell punches you in the face. Seriously. Yeah. But um, we got those, which is exciting, so we can sort of get lift more confidence without having to worry about smelling on the floor. Um, we also got in some advertising postcards, a bit of like, what we do, and just general basic advertising. So we went around and decided to market ourselves. So we went around to like, the mailboxes of different like neighborhoods in our area where we live, and sort of just slid them in. And um, because that's just what people do. They're starting a company, they drop off flyers and postcards to places where people can find them. Um, but we got a, a strongly worded email from a lady who was not too happy, claiming that um, we had jammed a flyer postcard in her P.O. box in a neighborhood that clearly says no soliciting and that doing illegal things is not the best way to market. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm calling the police. What? Sorry guys, we had um, some camera technical issues. Um, we were talking about the angry email that we got. Um, whatever, just claim a bunch of illegal stuff. Nothing was illegal. There was no no soliciting sign. Even if we did, we weren't actually in the neighborhood. Where we put it wasn't a, a 
P.O. box. Uh, we didn't jam anything anywhere. We weren't rummaging for anything, so it was not male tempering. So it's nothing illegal. She also mentioned her, uh, the employees can't be doing that. Yeah, so she mentioned something about employees, which means that she's on the impression that like we're doing well enough to have employees, which is pretty good. Um, anyway, who cares? She probably just wanted to speak with a manager. It's all good. Made a presence um, known. Yeah, I guess exactly right. At least they made a presence known. People are seeing it, which is good. And um, I suppose speaking of making a presence known, um, big announcement. This Saturday, June 10th, is our unofficial, well, official, official grand opening, as you want to say, because we've been open forever, but um, allowing you guys to come work out, but to actually make it known to the community that we're here, and we want all of you guys to come work out. This Saturday, we'll be having kind of like an open house thing. Um, Leroy will be doing like a presentation about what we're about, what we plan to do, if you guys train here, what we offer. Um, it'll be cool, it'll be chill, just come down to work out if you want, hang out, talk. Um, We'll be offering some stuff like free samples of different things. Um, yeah, uh, what you want to say? Um, no, that's pretty much it. But yeah, like if you come down this Saturday and sign up, um, you get the stuff that everybody gets. So the free consultation, movement analysis, posture analysis, 15% um, off discount for whatever package we decide to sign up with. But well, that's for the first 21 people. But again, even if you sign up this Saturday, you also get a free PT session with me, which is. Um, Unfortunately, the way it works is the most expensive thing that we have, but it's because of that, it's the most beneficial thing that you can get. You get a free session with me, which um, could um, help you a lot. Um, also, don't forget, guys, um, that being said, that we're doing our, we're still doing our 21, the first 20 people to sign up will still get the 15% off on any package they choose, but on saying that, uh, if you are one of the first 21 people to sign up, your name will also be put in like a raffle to win a free t-shirt since our t-shirts will be coming out soon. Not to hopefully. Get that, hopefully, we'll have to get that done uh, soon. Um, so yeah, sign up guys, spots are going quick, we already have a few people on the list, so really claim your spot, claim your shirt, claim your discount, claim your wellness. That's it. Um, and that is pretty much it. So um, like this video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagrams, Follow us on the on the Facebooks um, and in the Insta tweets. In Insta tweets, on that comment down and season means of your wellness. See you next time. Peace.